Hello everyone, Toby from AvalonDrama.com here with a new looping device for the arrangement view in Ableton Live. As you know, you are able to set loops in arrangement via the loop brackets and you are able to switch that on up here. So um, obviously the problem or the challenge in Ableton Live here is that you can't set multiple loop regions. But for that, I have a few devices and I have a new device which is made for flexible looping. So let's say you have a set and you want to decide on the gig if you want to loop a section or not. So loop shouldn't be turned on automatically. You just want to have the loop brackets to move. So for example, if we say we have like um, a few bars here, we just create a MIDI clip and create a few more here and then we have this all on a MIDI track and we use this device here, Control Flexible Loops in Arrangement View. We press refresh, so all the new clips will be stored in the device itself. And if we are now playing um, this clip here or the arrangement, I mean, you will see that if I have a clip, the loop brackets will move and automatically will be active. So if I now want to loop the last part, I just need to switch on the loop function here and it will loop. And if I want to leave the loop, I can turn this off again. So obviously this will work with three, four, four, eight, whatever, five, eight. So you just need to make sure when you create a new section, which you want to have looped you just put in a midi clip in here and you need to press refresh or if you move stuff you just want to make sure you need to press refresh because all this information of where you have different clips for looping set up it needs to be stored in here so as i showed you before you are able to switch on loop up here native but you are able to do this in the device as well via a MIDI node so for example if you want to route in some MIDI maybe let's leave this on auto and turn on the arming so we can actually see um, the clips here so I now I'm gonna send in just some MIDI notes from my computer keyboard here but obviously any MIDI controller sending a MIDI note would work so you switch that on press S for sync make sure that MIDI is being routed into this track and then if you hit a MIDI note it will be automatically detected and now you can see up here loop is being turned on and off via a MIDI note which is being sent directly into this track. Okay, so um, another nice monitor thing obviously here is BOM, you get a monitor which is um, a pop-up window and you can place this oops anywhere where you like and if you don't do a screencast your screen shouldn't go crazy like mine is at the moment. Obviously this is quite small but you can change the size here and you can save the position so it will open up. So if you want to have this on a second screen or a little bit bigger and you can see the looping um, if it's like switched on, if the looping is switched on, it's in Ableton's native nice uh, yellow orange showing you that loop is actually turned on. So this is like the first um, way on how to monitor if loop is on and off because if you're playing and you might not want to like um, yeah be looking on the screen all the time there is another way on how you can monitor if your loop is on or off actually you can send midi notes um, if you're changing the on and the off via this device so if you turn on the loop section here or the looping in arrangement it will create a note here you can turn this on so for example I'm sending out C1 now if I turn on the loop um, and if I turn it off I send out a C sharp one and I got a drum rack just behind this device here so I'm playing those different samples here so you can hear now when I'm switching the loop on and off those two samples are being triggered in the drum rack so this way you can just play you don't need to look on your screen you just know like ah oh yeah this track is running and the loop brackets are moving and then you just turn on your looping and it gives you this audio um, 
signal here, this audio message monitoring. And if you turn it off, obviously the sounds can be something different. It's just something I put in to show you something really obvious. So if you have, you could record yourself like and put this in here saying like, uh, loop off or something so you know that you turned off the, the loop okay so um you can get this device video links in the no links in the video description that's what i meant okay take care and check this out it's a max for life device so just that you know a max for life is included in ableton live suite or can be bought as an add-on for Ableton Live standard. If you don't have Ableton Live now or if you only have Ableton Live Lite, you can always get the free Ableton Suite trial, which uh, lets you do everything for three months, save everything and stuff. It will work even afterwards, but you aren't able to save and export stuff anymore. Okay, ableton.com, check it out and stay tuned. Bye-bye.